The Belmore Movie Theater is getting ready for the 15th annual Long Island International Film Expo taking place July 12th through the 19th. We're very excited. This is the 15th year of the Long Island International Film Expo. And we've went at some hard times like a lot of film festivals, but we were able to, to stick to it because every, all the judges and everybody involved really love this festival so much that, you know, we've really, we've grown. It's become an amazing festival. And yeah, 15 years is quite an accomplishment. Well, we have such a wide variety this year. We have Jeremy Fink in The Meaning of Life, uh, starring Mira Servino, um, Joe Pelliantano from The uh, Sopranos, as well as some other actors. And we have probably one of our most prolific filmmakers. Uh, Fred Carpenter has his, um, his film, The Night Never Sleeps, uh, is going to be shown uh, on Friday night. Um, and before that, we're going to be showing, as our official opening night feature, uh, Broadway's Finest. Um, which is a really good film, mostly shot on Long Island. In fact, both of those films, Night Never Sleeps and Broadway's Finest, were shot mostly on Long Island. Um, so that's really cool. And then on our closing night film block, the trailer that we have with the closing night feature, Excuse Me for Living, um, one of the stars, Melissa Archer, who was Natalie from One Life to Live, she's going to be here for that screening. Uh, another um, amazing, really on the edge of your seat film, not for the weak of heart, is It's All in the Blood with Lance Henriksen. Um, that's going to be playing uh, in one of the weekend slots. So we have one called, uh, it's from England, it's called Dimensions, A Line, A Loop, A Tangle of Threads. And um, it's uh, the filmmaker who I think wrote and directed it, she also worked art design for one of the Harry Potter movies. So it's a period piece and it's just amazing. It's really amazing. Uh, this looks like it should be in the movies. So that's going to be playing on the weekend uh, with one of our local films called Unseen from Peter Tadone. Um, and also besides that, um, either one, one of the blocks on the weekend, we have a movie called The Dangerous Place. Um, the thing that's fun about this for me is the fact that uh, this was directed and produced by David Schoner, who is the New Jersey Film Commissioner. So he's my counterpart in New Jersey, and, and he'll be here for the screening to show his film, A Dangerous Place. Uh, oh, I'm also thinking Junction. Uh, Junction is a pretty amazing film. Uh, it's going to be shown at night as well, again, not for the week of heart. Um, and it starts Tom Pelfrey, who I know had won some awards, Emmy Awards, for his role on the soap opera that he was on. Um, and then there's other people as well. Um, uh, Neil Bledsoe is in that, and uh, he's hopefully going to come. He's also going to come to closing night. Um, but also we have an incredible assortment of foreign films. Uh, and two of the features, i um, so happy the filmmakers are coming in. Uh, there's one, the American translation is Odd One Out. The filmmaker's coming in from Poland. Uh, also The Return of Ulysses. The filmmaker's coming in from Italy. Uh, the movie that's playing on Friday night called Sweet Tooth, that's playing with The Night Never Sleeps, they're coming in from Australia. Uh, it's going to be incredible. Oh, and the ones who did um, Dimensions, Line, Loop, and Tangle of, of um, Threads, they're coming in from England. So uh, it's going to be an amazing film festival. And that's only the people I know of so far. There's so much more. A uh, lot of local films this year, uh, tons of them. I mean, we've got My Butterfly, which is Joe Pomerico's film. Joe uh, has played with us in the past. I think he may even have won an award for his film, Gus. So he's coming back with um, My Butterfly. Uh, Peter Tadone's Unseen. That's going to be uh, shown uh, as well with um, the, the movie from England, so, so that's very cool. Uh, we have uh, Purification, which is a kind of a thriller feature uh, that was shot on Long Island, filmmakers from Long Island, uh, Joe Chiminera. There's a film called Somewhere West, which is an extremely special film. Uh, it's not only a wonderful film, but it was made for like $28,000, um, and uh, it's a, a feature-length film. They shot it over six different states. Um, the, the actors work pretty much for free. It is an amazing film. It's everything everyone thinks an independent film should be, which is a labor of love, didn't cost any money, and they really worked for nothing and made this incredible product. And the closing night feature is Blood, Sweat, and Gears about um, biker uh, Billy Lane and the charity work he does with um, basically military people. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. As far as documentaries, uh, we have the best documentaries. Uh, we have one called uh, Kinder Block 66, uh, Return to Buchenwald, and it is an amazing Holocaust documentary. It is very um, informative, but it's also inspirational because um, it, it covers the camp of children uh, that were at Buchenwald and, and where they are years later, they're still four survivors, and it's, um, it's incredible. I think that's going to be Sunday. Uh, and then we have a documentary called My Really Cool Legs, uh, which is about um, people who have lost a limb and how it's been replaced and how they're surviving and thriving and things that they do for kids that are in that situation and it's really amazing.
Arts. We also have a documentary called Hard Times Lost on Long Island, which will be showing in HBO in a couple of weeks after it screens by us. Uh, there's an entire assortment of Long Island films, um, I mean, just scattered all throughout the festival, so we should have a really good turnout. And Markowitz says the Film Expo offers plenty to film lovers and filmmakers. And first of all, the people that, that want to see something they can't see ordinarily will be able to see films that they won't be able to see anywhere else. And if they're looking for something different rather than the same old studio films, you got 142 films from around the world that they can see. 142 films, so they're going to find something they like. Also, people that are interested in the film industry, great way to come and meet filmmakers, because they come in from out of the country, they come in from out of town, you have local people they can speak to, network with. Uh, we also have panels. We're going to have a panel on script writing, um, so you can speak to some professional writers and get some input from them. Uh, we're also going to have a film distribution and financing panel. The Long Island International Film Expo will be held here at the Belmore Movies from July 12th to the 19th. For more information, times, and schedules, you can check out the website, longislandfilm.com. In Belmore, Chris Kalor reporting.